Mr. Surjewala, it's, it's good to, you know, take this very preachy line on television. But the fact is, if I am not mistaken, top Congress leaders have said that there will be an attempt by the BJP led by Narendra Modi in this campaign to instigate communal riots in Congress rule states. Am I right or wrong? Am I right or wrong? Am I right or wrong? Have, Mr. Modi is a divisive. No, no, no. No, Rajesh one second. You have Seva said Sung then and Mr. Narendra Modi are seeking to divide the secular fabric of this country. Please answer it is my question. Duty Please answer my question. It is Please answer my question. As a nationalist party, answer my question. You are not answering my question. Duty as a nationalist is it party to point out that the secular fabric of this country can be you, tampered No, you are not. You are not. You, you are not saying that. You see, Mr. Mr. Surjewala, I get the BJP to respond. Sudanshu Trivedi is responding. To you, you dodged my question out there. I asked you whether stop Congress leaders have said that communal riots will be instigated in Congress rule states by the BJP in the run up to the 2014 elections. Imagine how scared, how scared the religious minorities will be in these states by comments like that. If that is not creating an atmosphere of fear, then I don't know, Mr. Surjewala, what is Sudan Trivedi is responding to you. Yes, Mr. Trivedi. First, my humble request to Mr. Surjewala is that let me complete my questions. Go ahead. Second, he has said that Maulana Azad, whatever he has said in the Constituent Assembly, I would like to remind him, Maulana Azad in his book, India Wins Freedom, the last 40 pages, which he has said that they should be made public after 30 years of his death, and they were made public in 1987, in which it is clear indication that it was Mr. Jawaharlal Nehru who was in a hurry of partition. It was a written document by Maulana Azad. Now, I will come to the present point. Who is creating fear? Everybody in this country knows that just few days back, Home Minister of the country has sent a letter to all the states that the youth of Muslim community should not be targeted. It means you are trying to create atmosphere that the youth of particular community is targeted. Home Minister of this government in January 2013 has used the word Hindu terror. It means you are trying to create a fear on the basis of religion, and this statement was held by Hafiz Sahib, though he has to withdraw this statement. It is ample clear that who is trying to create a fear. Now, I would like to say one more thing. These so-called secular parties have done a great harm to the Muslims also. They have always tried to create, identify Muslims with Ishrat Zaha and Afzal Guru. And I couldn't remember then the debates how many times they have taken the name of Ashfaqullah Khan or Abdul Hamid. They are very much in enthusiasm on saying the sentences like Simi is a cultural organization, but they never hail the achievements of nationalist Muslims like Dr. Kalam and other things, rather than they are having some reservations with them. So this is a clear-cut divisive policy and the latest event of Muzaffar Nagar on which Mr. Sujewala was saying that they are having a respect for the federal structure. I would like to say, when in the, it was the issue of BJP government in Karnataka three, day, three years back, when not even a single uh, injury was done, they have issued a stern warning on uh, Karnataka government of the Mangalore incidents of the so-called Sri Ram Sena. And on this issue of Mujaffanagar, after a, such a clear-cut expose by a TV channel, they were not even able to say a single word. Forget about the warning, forget about the displeasure. They have not issued a So what word. creates insecurity, so, therefore? Um, that's a strong response from the BJP to the Congress. I'd like to go to Suresh Prabhu. They What's have a hand in gloves. Abid Rasul Khan raises his hand. Abid Rasul Khan, Abid Rasool Khan the, the question I asked with a question with Randeep Shujewala dodged that when a senior leader of a, of a Congress party says that the BJP will try and instigate communal rights in the run-up to the 2014 elections, tell me what can be worse in trying to create an atmosphere of fear. Where is the positive agenda? Is this the only agenda on the basis of which the next election will be fought? Abhit Rasul Khan, turn is yours. After that, Suresh Prabhu, I'm I coming would, to I, you. Yeah. I, would, yeah, I would like to respond to the BJP uh, Go ahead. person who is there on the panel. I would, like to, I would like to tell him that in Gujarat, where he's talking about uh, all the history, uh, history is clear that there have been up-team number of encounters of Muslims. 
this is Gujarat is the only state from where their prime ministerial candidate comes which has shifted all the cases out of Gujarat by a Supreme Court order and this is the first time in history. And I am have, asking you, you I am asking you, I am asking no, you, I will then, pull you then back you into the debate, about the I will pull you back into the debate with a no, simple no, question, you, with a sim no, no, one second, I want you to respond to the point that he made, let everybody not go on their own track, the point that the BJP representative made, and I would like a clear answer from you, Abhid Rasul Khan, is that the Congress yeah. party and the Home Minister yes. deliberately are trying to create insecurity by playing the perception that Muslims are targeted, that is why he says the Home Ministry has written letters uh, saying that special courts so that expeditious trial is possible that is why he says the home minister has uh, written letters to chief minister saying that no muslim youth should be wrongfully detained in the name of terror in other words the home minister is creating an impression a perception that muslims are being targeted the charge he makes is this is being made Arnab. to create a sense of insecurity in the muslim community i want you to respond to that go ahead no, Arnab, the Home Minister is doing his duty in no, protecting no. the rights of is the minority. Is he creating an but, but I would like to... No, no, let me complete. Let me complete. When you want me, uh, me to respond, let me complete. And on the other hand, you have BJP leadership who goes to terrorists who are in the jails. You have a Chief Minister from Goa who goes to the terrorists who are convicted and gives them support. You have their Suresh Uma Prabhu. Bharati going into a Nasik jail and uh, supporting the terrorists. And then you, you, that is not appeasement at all. But if the Home Minister is trying to do something and trying to do justice to the youth of the Muslim community, you call it appeasement. What is the double standard? Isn't it double standard? That is his duty. He's supposed to do that. He's, he's not supposed to, to create a divide among citizens innocent. facing the law. He's no, not, as far as I understand, as, he's not as supposed far to... As, as, far as, the word, as far as the welfare of minorities comes, it is a divide. Suresh but when Prabhu. the BJP and its so what I find to terrorists, it's not a divide. So what, I find here, so, so what I find here is very interesting. The debate is that you are doing it as well. Suresh Prabhu, the argument the Congress That's party is that. making is that you are dividing more, we are dividing less. You are responsible for radicalization, for attempting to divide more, and you should look into what you are doing in your own glass house before pointing fingers at what the Congress party is doing or not doing. Suresh Prabhu, your response to the Congress tonight, to both the Congress representatives. Yeah, you know, basically, the very important moot point in Mr. Madani's statement is that Congress is cleverly using the Muslim community at the time of election to hide behind all the failures which they should have delivered in terms of creating more jobs, etc. We have a commission report which very Mr. clearly Suresh states Prabhu, Muslim, that the Muslims plight in India, out. particularly it during the rule of the Congress party has been really very and again So it is like very clearly saying, very cleverly, what is, what is important is... It is the secular please, India. It is basically... Let him complete, let him complete Mr. Ras Rasul Khan. Basically, you know, no, no, basically, no, no, you his, know, his it is like creating a fear circus. If we remember, at the time, the height of height, at the height of Cold War between USA and USSR, there was always a very interesting movie called Russians are coming. So, you know, you wanted to always frighten the Americans saying that Russians are coming, so be careful, you must try to support the war machine that we are trying to create. Mr. Suresh so Prabhu, way, no Muslim will fear Modi or BJP. I am making it clear. Or she is not that uh, effect. To Muslims be fear to only the Allah, India the Almighty. As it is here, it is here that we are going to divide the country. It is uh, Muslims is what, want a secular India. They, they respect a secular India. It is not that. And, and always what, Muslims in 2004 what, and 2009 voted for a secular party. The whole country voted for a secular party. I, I, I'm so not. This is what is now, you know, we keep claiming even, that we are secular. And what is important is what the community feels about it. Out. And this is what is a mirror. Who? It is a mirror that Mr. Madani is holding in his hand. And I think we should try to look into the mirror and don't blame I, the mirror. I want to know, I want to know, I want, I'm just, I'm just putting one question, one question to the Congress Party representatives. Okay, so the Congress Party's basic argument is secularism. Am I correct? Secularism, right, Mr. Sujewala? And Mr. Abid Rasul Khan, you are the defenders of secularism. Secularism is part of our DNA. Oh, it's, so it's part of your DNA. So one follow-up question with your permission to question how far it is in your DNA or not. Now, if I am not mistaken, the Indian Union Muslim League is a coalition partner in Kerala's UDF government, which is led by the Congress Party. Now, in June, the Malapuram district, the state government's local administration department, which is headed by the IUML, issued a circular allowing the registration of all underage marriages in Kerala. 
and I am reading from a report which says the reason was evident. Malapuram, the state's only Muslim majority district, tops Kerala in child marriages. I am asking you, is it secular to allow this? You you say you are for the rights Anna. of no no one second. You say you are for the rights of women. You are you are getting my point. You are getting my point. The Indian Union how, how? Muslim League had promised Muslim community leaders in the run-up to the 2011 state assembly elections that it would issue a circular to this effect. Others people have said that this circular violates the Child Marriage Prohibition Act 2006, which has prescribed the minimum marriage age as 18 and 21 for women and men. The simple point I'm making to you, sir, is this. I ask not you, but I ask your conscience tonight. That if you are truly secular, then how can you allow a different age of marriage in one particular part of a state because of your political compulsions with the Indian Union Muslim League and then still say that you are secular at the national level? Mr. Surjewala, do not dodge this. Ask, tell me whether you compromised or not to accommodate the IUML. Did you or did you not? Anna, with due regards, with due regards to your eloquence and persuasion, are you trying to suggest on national television today that merely because a particular district has passed a completely illegal order that is in contravention of the law framed by parliament that makes Indian National Congress unsecular? The sir, answer I, I with sir, great respect, no. and, with the and, utmost of respect, and, sir, sir, let me, respect, respect to your eloquence as well, as, as well as to your intellectual credibility and sagacity, I would like to humbly tell you this, that I do not believe that in this great nation of ours, only on the basis of your political compulsions okay, to accommodate man. a party, which is called the Indian Union Muslim League, can you have a different age for marriage, sir? Even if you have your, that party has made a commitment Absolutely. to the Muslim community leaders there. Therefore, I'm asking you this, sir. Please redefine your secularism. What is your secularism, sir, which allows you to absolutely. bend to the IUML? Arnab, what is your secularism which allows you to give a long not. rope to Akbaruddin Owaisi in the height of what was happening in Hyderabad? Where is, where is your secularism, sir, in these contexts? It is, the Congress, it is the Congress party, incidentally, that arrested Mr. Owaisi and registered... A After the media created an uproar. It is also... It is... It is also the Indian National Congress that has upheld the secular ethos of this nation for since 19. The people have not a political and you party. Were speaking about fierce psychosis, you are also speaking about fierce psychosis. Can I not put four questions on your channel tonight, Arnab? Is it not true that since Mr. Narendra Modi has been declared Prime Minister aspirant and his conscience keeper appointed as General Secretary of BJP for State of Uttar Pradesh that was being so well defended just now, suddenly he goes, Mr. Amit Shah goes there and raises the Mandir Bogi, Mandir issue that has not, that has been lying dormant for years just on the eve of election. Is it not true that Vishwa Hindu Parisha suddenly tries to, uh, uh, try to divide people on communal lines by its Kosi Yatra. Respond. It's not true that suddenly Swami Adityanath gets arrested in Jhansi because he wants to do he wants to do something that will divide the two communities. Is it not true that in Muzaffar Nagar RSS Kader distributes fake CDs? So Response time. Two minutes on the debate. You have a count. You you right dodge my question. It. You you is with it, with with respect to you. Is with respect to you, that there is there is one person I, responsible for this. Mr. Mr. Surjewala, Mr. Mr. Surjewala, ideology. Mr. Surjewala, may I say this? That you have mastered the first and most important rule, which I am told in the closed doors of the Congress party and all political party spokesperson circles is told to spokespersons. That when you do not have an answer to a question, dodge it and ask a counter question. You have not answered my question on Malapuram. However, that point goes noted that you have avoided and dodged my question on Malapuram. But you've asked four questions on the communalization of Uttar Pradesh to the BJP instead. Because I'm short of time. And with a silent protest that you have not answered my question, I let the BJP respond to you. Sudhan Chutravedi. As far as the allegations are concerned, 
I feel that the Samajwadi Party government in Uttar Pradesh and the central government led by Congress can have all the it's investigations. Right, yeah. So there is no use of going in that. It's on the Malapuram right. issue, ah. I would like to ask one question to Mr. Surjewala. When it Sir, comes it to the issue of half panchayat, issuing, issuing a dictate a against the... Let me complete, please. Let me complete. Let him complete now. Let him complete. I would like to ask one thing. Let him complete. Let after that, Nebu Plague will counter him. Mr. Surjewala, it's not appropriate to interrupt all the time. I ask one question. When it comes to the issue of the dictates issued on the issue of marriage by the half panchayats of the Jat community on the issue of marriaging in the same Gotra, your government becomes very strong and a stern action on legal angle. Why you are so soft on the issue of Mallapuram? Just because you are having two yard sticks for two nobody, communities. Nobody is it is not true? I want to answer. My question on Mallapuram went unanswered. My I, question on Mallapuram went unanswered. Someday I'll get an answer from I, the Congress party anyway. I, I gave a very clear-cut answer with due regards to you, Arnab. Just because in one district a wrong order has been issued in contravention of the law, that does but not... Why the law the being but why is the law party being contravened? But why is the law being contravened? Do you not care? No, one minute. Do you not care? Do you not care? No, Mr. Surjewala. No, Mr. Surjewala. No, Mr. Surjewala. Do you, do you, do you not care? Do you not care? Let me, let me ask, let me ask Mehbu Beg. Mr. Mehbu Beg, do you not care? that the law is being contravened to accommodate community leaders in one part of Kerala? Is that appropriate? Isn't that a violation of the law? How no, do you allow it? Is that secularism? He has said that. Arnab, he has said that. Sir, Mr. Surjewala has uh, already responded to your question. And he has responded it very well. He said, if it has happened there, one wrong does not make uh, another wrong right. Two wrongs are two wrongs. He has accepted that it but why are the wrongs has been done there and uh, that... Uh, no, but those who are carrying out the wrongs, do they have a right to preach? Those who have allowed the wrongs, can you preach? Can you preach after having allowed these wrongs? Simple point. My question on Malapuram went unanswered. And I put this question to all the viewers on the news hour tonight. To all the viewers, do you believe every political party is in the business of spooking others? In this whole debate which has been started by Mr. Madni, which side are you on? Do you believe the Congress is on slippery ground? And do you believe Mr. Madni has a lot to explain about what he said about this Mr. Narendra Modi as well? I look forward to your feedback. We are wrapping up debate number one. Debate number two is coming up on the other side. That's been a very interesting debate. Well defended uh, uh, to the Congress party and well uh, argued to the BJP. Debate number two is coming up on the other side. Kapil Sibbal says the whole social media machinery of Narendra Modi is engineered. We're debating that next.